Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. All right, here we go, folks. Now let's go with the ones that I like. This is number three, which would be I Make Boys Cry, number one. So this is a part two to a story that started in White Widow, number five. Now this right here is White Widow. White Widow is uh, what is her name? Gabrielle Garcia. She is a typical girl at NYU. Her parents were scientists. She was really sickly as a kid. And she wasn't going to survive. So her parents uh, were doing this research into nanotechnology and all that yada yada yada. They came up with something, injected her with this stuff in order to make her survive. And eventually it gave her the power to generate a suit. Her parents were killed. When she began to start investigating her parents' death, that's where the suit came in. Now she's being pursued by a group... Uh, called, I think it's this, The Group. Yeah, that's original. Who are trying to get the technology. And in her investigation, she comes across this private girls uh, school, all girls school. And gets attacked by some people. Then they find out they're on the same side. This is part two to where she meets the story. So you have, this is written by, uh, what is the name? Jamie Tindall, creator and, uh, creator and designer. Benny R. Powell is the writer, co-creator and letterers. Ron Lisson, F-R-E-I-R-E, -E, Pencils and Inks. Yeah, that, uh, that looked good, didn't it? <clears throat> so, this book basically covers uh, her training with this group of women, or, you know, college-age women. And they go on an attack at the end to go after a group, which is her final exam, in order to join this group in which she fails due to, I won't explain why, because you know, if you want to read it, I'm not going to give much spoilers, but it looks like uh, the White Widow may or may not be in the next issue. I think this is putting her in here was a jump off you know, as a way to start this other series. I'm not sure or not because you know you have Batman and you have Batman, you have the Justice League, so you know you'd have two separate series. I don't know, but this was a this is a pretty interesting. Uh, pretty interesting story because the group that she is involved with has been around for hundreds of years and they go anywhere. They go to different countries. They get hired to do stuff even though it's stuff that they want to do but they allow themselves to get hired to avoid looking 
like they're vigilantes or they're interfering with um, foreign governments and they're an ultra secret group to uh, of women to uh, fix the mistakes that men have made. Fine, uh, kind of a, kind of an interesting story. I uh, I will probably pick up the second one just to see how it works and to see if White Widow is going to be in it. But I definitely do not want to get one of the variant covers because this is a variant cover. And this was how much it was. <laughs> I'm not going to pay $9.99 for a variant cover for number two. I can guarantee you that much right now. Even though it was a good story. If it's going to be $9.99 for a variant cover, it better be a damn good cover. And that's not good enough for $9.99. But I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. Just because it intrigues me, and I found it interesting enough, and enjoyed it. So, did you read it? Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, like, subscribe, enjoy your comics.